Every year, the annual trip to Toronto is a favorite amongst drivers and teams and fans, frankly. Me, James Hinchcliffe, being from here, this was kind of where my love for IndyCar started. I remember walking around the grounds of Exhibition Place as a kid, way, way back. I'm talking toddler. I came for the first time when I was 18 months old, chasing drivers like Mario Andretti and Rick Mears and Ryan hunter Ray for autographs way back in the day. Oh, memories. Anyway, it's great to be back here in Canada, and I wanted to take the opportunity to grab a couple drivers and ask them what they know about Canada. Welcome to Canada. How's it treating you so far? Very good. I love Canada. I love that you love Canada. Canada loves you. So I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian. Oh, good. The sole Canadian driver in the field this year, Devlin De Francesco. I'm just such a fan. I mean, <laughs> childhood hero of mine. I was, I was a kid. I was a kid chasing you around. Uh, so you've been coming here for a long time, racing like a like a long, 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 time. long time. You've like, you've stopped me from moving. That doesn't sound like a Canadian thing to do. Do you love racing in Canada? Yes, I do. That wasn't a trivia question, that was just me asking you that. Oh, okay. Well, I, yeah, it's, but I, I thought I got that right, so. Well, yeah, if you if you do, then you did, so. Okay, good. Good start. Yeah. What's your name? It's Will. Canadian or American? All right. Okay, I know you're Australian, but you're kind of American too. Yeah. All right, was basketball invented by a Canadian or an American? I'm gonna say a Canadian, because why would you even put that question in there? Well, the fact that you're asking me that, I'll go with Canadian. What is it? I, well, I know, what do you? Canadian. Canadian. All right. Bonus points if you know his name. Okay. I thought I thought basketball was very American. Um, so am I right? Well, so what's your final answer? I said Canadian. Yeah, you did. It is. It's yeah. yes. Yeah. Do you know the guy's name? Yeah. No, I don't. Which country has the longest running sports show in the world? Canada or America? Canada. Canada. That's correct. Hockey night in Canada has been long running longer than Sports Center. I knew it. I watch it every day. Alice, grab me a prize just in case. Hide it. Don't these look. Are, these are. Which country has the tallest waterfall? Oh, but it isn't technically it on the Canadian side. Well, it's on both, really. Yeah, it's but one is. It depends on how much is on. I'm gonna say. I think it's Canada. It's like Canada. Yeah, I'm gonna say Canada. We're gonna say Canada. We're going with Canada. You're assuming Niagara Falls? Yes. Way off. Like not even close. Oh, it must be something in Banff or something. Uh, no, it's it's America. It's <laughs> it's Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Is Bullwinkle the moose from Rocky and Bullwinkle from Canada or the United States? I'm gonna say he's Canadian. No, I think he's American. It's on you, my friend. Canadian. He's American. He hails. You had it right. You had it right, and then you had it wrong, and then you had it right, and then you had it wrong, but uh, Bullwinkle hails from Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, where he shares a house with his best friend, IndyCar technical director, Rocket J. Squirrel. How many provinces and territories does Canada have? Oh, I'm gonna have to uh, kick it over to my friend Renus here. They're big. They are big, but how many are there? Nine. Nine, you say six? I was saying six, six. Aren't you half Canadian? I am, I'm half Canadian. My mom's side, you know, I could claim it. You sure could. I wouldn't though, based on that, I wouldn't do that. Wow. There's 10 provinces and three territories. Can you name more than one? Do you know which one you're in currently? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's not Quebec. No, it's uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Edmonton, Quebec. No. <laughs> Edmonton's a city, Quebec's a province, and neither of them are around here. Yeah, but yeah, I... Okay, you're in Ontario, by the way. Okay. That's... Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> which country consumes the most donuts per capita? Ooh, per capita? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna say Canada, almost. You know, it gets cold up here. Do you get, do you get warmer when you eat donuts? I mean, I like donuts when it's cold. You know, they're comforting. Don't you think? We're gonna go with America. You would be incorrect. Ah, yeah, <laughs> that was a team I effort. Wanted, wanted <laughs> Which country, US or Canada, consumes more macaroni and cheese? Canada. It is in fact Canada. We have a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Grosjean, as well as being an honorary Canadian, you now get one of Canada's signature treats, Smarties. You were so smart. You got all the questions right. Nestle Swiss. What's that? Nestle Swiss. Yeah. Nestle Swiss. There you go. Your prize is the Canadian oh only God. found in Canada, Smarties, because you were so smart in your answers. Rocket, I would like my 10 pound weight reduction, please. There we go. Share none with the team. Wow. Does Canada have A, 
the world's tallest tree, B, the world's longest coastline, or C, the world's deepest lake? Ooh. Good one, right? It's a good one. I'm gonna go with either B or C. Again, you have to pick one of them. Hmm. Coastline. It is coastline, amazingly, without the help of anybody. I'm gonna say the world's deepest lake. And you would be absolutely incorrect. Will Power, ladies and gentlemen, it was longest coastline. And so look, you're gonna get a prize anyway. This is a Canadian tree yes. called Smarties. It's Australian, Smarties. Well, it's it's Commonwealth, it's Commonwealth. Yeah. So you know what they are. You clearly yeah. need a few more of them. Oh, get out of here, come they on. Come on. Yeah. They're the same as M&M's. You take that back. I won't. You take that. It tastes that the same. So we've walked the streets of Toronto that the NTT IndyCar Series will be racing on this weekend. We've talked to a bunch of the drivers, asked them a little bit about Canada, but hopefully more importantly, taught them a little bit about Canada because let's be honest, those answers were terrible. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy a nice Canadian treat for myself and hopefully you guys are treated to a great IndyCar race here. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.